Well, welcome back to Base Camp, WNC. It's 30th of March right now, and from what it looked like the other day, kind of the question is, where have all the strawberries gone? Well, it had a good group Wednesday, and it's Saturday today, and two of the three fields are shut down, and as you can tell, they've taken every berry that even looked like it was red, and we're down to nothing but green ones. But this is kind of what you want. Yeah, there's a little couple of them up here with a red tinge on them. But sure ain't very many, is it? We looked out here the other day and was having to do commercial picking and didn't want to. Now you almost wish you didn't, so you never know. It's Saturday, a little after 2 o'clock. Um, I just got back here at the farm. It's, uh... Wednesday was the first pick and play day for the farm, which means the schools are out half day and they advertise on Facebook For what that's it's a it's a great social media. Don't get me wrong, but according to Facebook we had 7,000 people showing up, but somehow they got lost between getting here, but on Wednesday they had to shut the field down at 2 o'clock because everything was picked over now Everything out there alongside the road is one field. This is a field and we'll take you over. Far side of this woods is the third field. Back on the other side here is for all the U picket operations. There's some field, two fields in the back that are all wholesale. Um, but they had to shut down at two o'clock because of the amount of people and they picked over all the fields. Uh, today's Saturday and they just don't want to run people out that came all the way here but basically everything's picked out again and then this coming wednesday is starts the first school field trip so they got to do some magic praying over the strawberry fields and hopefully things get going here pretty good but weather's supposed to turn off be cool again um but we're going to walk around because I'm leaving Monday morning to head up to the mountains, work on a water project that I'll bring to you. But uh, let's pan around here. This is all the cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli. Like I said, this was the first planting down to here. That's the second planting. And uh, squash, everything is going in that field. And, of course, sweet corn on the far end. It should be up. We'll walk down there and take a look at it. But... Uh, we really thought about it planted 70 acres actually you can't really see it too much on this phone but right past this green strip planted 70 acres back in timber back there and we were really concerned about maybe just clearing it up farmer walter really didn't want to and this year social media like i said we wanted last year we picked about 50 percent you pick and 50% we had to get picked and move wholesale and do everything else. This year we were hoping to try to get it up to about 80% of you pick because that's where all the money is. I mean, you're not paying pickers, you're not paying for packers, you're not hauling around, you're not buying cardboard boxes and plastic clamshells. But when the people show up, you better have something for them to pick. And it was a mountain of people here. A couple times they had two registers open in the stand and there was anywhere from 75, 80 people standing in line trying to get to the register. So, so far it's been pretty good. It'll slow down a little bit in the next couple of weeks because it'll get warm and stay warm. And most people don't mind coming and picking in a long sleeve shirt, but when they start sweating, that kind of cuts it down and then they just want to come to the stand and buy them. Well, let's walk over take a quick gander at the uh, blackberries and let's see what they're doing we're going to walk around here look at the corn that other strawberry field take a hit in the greenhouse because then i'm going to be gone for a week well here it is this is the earlier uh bearing variety as you can see right here they're starting to blossom out these are all thornless blackberries i've said it quite a few times they're grown under the protocol. If you want to really know how to grow them so far, it's really worked for us. Is uh, Arkansas University slash Blackberry School. It's on YouTube. 
they got like 26 episodes and videos from planting picking it out the arbors the trellises how to wire them up how to prune how to do everything and that's kind of the protocol we're following but uh it is the last of march right now and they are starting to bloom you can see there these are popping out all the other ones here are ready to go so this is the early and earlier variety the ones on the other end haven't even started yet they'll be a couple weeks later and we'll see what the rest holds well, here it is we got some sweet corn this year if anybody goes back to the episode last year on all my films about this time we listened to the John Deere man that I guess he's a salesman he sure ain't never been a farmer but it would plant four five six seed and skip three foot and plant them a foot apart but you can actually see them starting to shine out the row we got them about every six eight inches all along so it actually looks like a cornfield this year and uh, this is the first plant in the corn and then we'll have a second plant in the corn that's be all there is it, it all comes in at one time you got to be able to move it and it's got to be sold on the stand because wholesale wise it doesn't bring it's not worth the time to pick and haul it down there for what you get out of the market so but this year we do have a field of corn anyhow it will be nice Walter needs to get some nitrogen on here and get some fertilizer on this thing get the overhead irrigation up because it's getting kind of dry but it's the end of March and it is showing out the roots well it's all bedded up this will all be squashed down here uh, tomatoes are going down the road at a separate field because they aren't they're never done you pick um, but there's the field they're working over right there behind the tractor shed they're working over that field right now and they're going to try to hopefully stretch it out and not have to run everybody off the farm hopefully it's going to die down here as the sun keeps getting a little bit warmer and kind of run them all off but they have worked on the fields pretty hard today let's go up and take a gander at the blueberries and see if we see any frost damage well they're not looking too bad this is the variety that we were worried the most about they were in blossom and late bloom when all that frost and freeze and burning hay bales and everything but these right here look like they're gonna they'll make some berries this is all one variety we got another variety of blueberries that weren't even bloomed out then but looks like we'll scave the process this year on it's a little bit later variety and you can see the ones that were out are okay these here are dead and gone they were really small when that that frost hit and that section right there is all gone but as you can see they're setting some more out still so hopefully all in all we'll have some berries this year last year we had about a half a crop the year before we lost everything so everything was killed in the frost so at least this year we'll end up with something out of it see in less than a week here comes all the okra up and they're all planted two two to a cell over here's all the tomatoes they transplanted for the a little bit bigger thing for the garden to be on here's all the tomatoes that'll be sitting out all okra back here he loves to mainly raises okra to keep the guys busy a little bit later on in the summertime and give them something to do that's not a you pick it type operation and then back here in the other greenhouse is all the squash and hopefully with the strawberries being so packed up they're ready to go so Hopefully next week they'll get all this stuff in the ground. There's about 15,000 squash plants alone, so you can imagine what it's like picking squash around here in another 30 days, so it'll get busy. Well, here's the tunnel house. Like I said, today's Saturday. 
and uh, this coming Wednesday is the first school trip coming out so they got a boys will have to get rid of these old straw bales and get a whole bunch of new ones and wrap them up in plastic and they'll have the classroom set up here because in order for the kids to come out from school they actually have a classroom set up where they can learn something about growing and everything so but as usual we're gonna let you go the crowd's still here they're still parked all the way out to the road they're all over the place of course now a good bit of them's just got the kids on the playground but like it share it subscribe we thank you we in the 330s now we just a booming right along and uh i'll let you go but like share subscribe give us a comment thank you